So what is going on everybody? Today, man, is a video that I did not want to make. Um, I thought about it long and hard and I was like, man, should I even address this? Because I addressed it over a year ago and I was thinking, hmm, maybe we shouldn't, maybe we shouldn't, but we're gonna talk about it. And we're also gonna talk about the Division II, what I consider one of the biggest scams going on still to date. And I put a video out over two months ago and some of you guys may think it is a scam. Some of you guys might not. So we're gonna go over here and you take a look. So it is a website that charges 100 to almost $300 for exotics. And for a while we were plagued in the division community with a lot of creators pushing this. They were literally pushing this on you. And the first thing I'm gonna address with it before we get into why this video is even being made is, I'm gonna tell you guys, Creators are pushing this on you, um, saying that, hey, you could go there, this is tested, this is okay. This actually goes against your terms of service. Let's take a look at this. This is website Ubisoft's official site. It's sharing your Ubisoft account credentials. We appreciate you may feel that sharing your account with family and friends is okay. However, we would like to remind you that doing so not only breaches our terms of service, but also puts your account at its risk. The same applies to trading accounts or giving your credentials to a non-Ubisoft website that offers unbelievable discount on virtual currency. It says to keep your account safe secure, never let anyone other than yourself access the account. We strongly recommend purchase digital Ubisoft products, games, virtual currency from our approved retailers only. And it says consider changing your passwords. The bottom, read this. Please also note that as part of an ongoing effort to improve and maintain the securities of the players and accounts, we will now lock any account on which fraudulently activity surrounding purchases is detected. So they technically can, per this TOS, can lock your account. So you could spend that 100 to 200 to $300 to buy these exotics, right? That honestly, I'm gonna tell you guys, there's not one exotic in the division two that is worth that, hands down. And lock your account and then you have to you're stuck with it but these creators have told you hey it's okay you guys can do it i've tested it right let's get into the real video right let's talk about why this video was even made so i want to say it was probably two days ago i got a message from a couple friends and they were like hey did you see this on um so and so's channel right and i i you guys know me, I try to stay away from naming YouTubers. I, I don't really even get involved in that. The one time that I did was this whole division buying exotics. I thought it was a scummy move. And I honestly think people are getting taken advantage of. Like nothing in the division is worth that type of money, right? Like use that money on something else. But this person came out and wrote this. Ever since a certain YouTuber posted saying Kinetic Momento does more damage than Glass Cannon, still to this day, I am receiving hate in my comments telling me to watch this person's video and learn the mechanics because I am misleading the community. Okay, let's, let's see. For your info, it does not, and Glass Cannon does millions more damage, millions more damage. This top YouTuber is misleading the community and spreading rubbish that I have, I'm having to clean up. All right, guys, let's go over here, right? We'll go to my channel. Like, and I want to admit, like, we all make some mistakes. This video was over a year ago, right? And he's bringing this up now again. Okay, so here it is, guys. The first video that I made, the Division 2 biggest mistakes you are making. Now, when I tested on this, I didn't test with any of the buffs, and that was my mistake. Literally six hours later, I got off work six hours later, I already, had, I already started making the video because once I released that, I was like, you know what? I made a mistake, but I'm going to leave it on there because ain't no reason to hide it, right? I made a mistake, made a mistake. Literally six hours later, maybe seven hours later, I already had a video up. The Division Two, which talent is better for you? Skill builds part two. And I showcase glass cannon hits harder. And we'll do is let's watch a little bit. Let, let's listen to what I said. Six hours later from that video, and he's saying he's having to clean up my own mess. So this right here is the video that clears up the mess prior where I, I honestly, I left it up because you know, I made a mistake and I'd rather own up to it. This video, confirms that glass candy hits harder but listen to listen to it because he's saying he's having to clean up my mess so it's already a lie that he's saying that i put out one video i didn't address it oh i did right like literally six hours later he's having to clean up my own mess this is my channel right but hey let's get into it once we get it there then we're gonna so we have kinetic momento support sorry not tech support um perfect combined arms and we have perfect combined arms so we're at one hundred and fifty nine thousand right here what i plan on doing is I want to just show you guys real quick right here. Perfect combined arms is the talent we are going to be using. Let's wait for this to hit a full stack. 
once it hits a full stack, then you're really gonna see the numbers. And on this video, I test out so, test subject. I test it a full stack, just the skills hitting, second, getting kills. And it's 159,000, there we go. So it's at 196,000, right? So this is- Perfect combined arms, no, kinetic rocking, momentum. No talents for my weapon, 196,000. But, but look. So now we're gonna be testing it with glass cannon and perfect combined arms. So those are gonna be the two so we that do we're using glass right cannon, now. Perfect oh, combined glass arms, same thing. And perfect combined arms. We already know we're at 196, 700, right? You hear and it? And this is gonna be at 199. 199. So glass cannon hits harder. So almost 3,000 different. Almost 3,000, as I said. Just using All right, glass. cool, right? So we already made it. Glass cannon hits harder. Same thing. I go through the whole video. If you guys wanna watch this, I go through the whole video confirming that glass cannon hits three to four to 5,000 harder. This is, I even went all the way up to test subject running the same. So I literally say, I just don't think it's worth it because of the incoming damage. But the tests show in this video that glass cannon hits harder. I say it doesn't feel that it's worth it because you have that incoming damage and you're stuck in one spot. You can't move around as much because you could get one to two shot, especially with the all yellow built. So I already had covered that six hours later from the first video, which he says he's having to clear up because that's what he wrote in that message, right? He's having to clear up my mess. All right, cool. Then, then it even gets better because I do the same test with the Memento backpack, which is the number one piece that I run with. So before them. in the range, you could actually build your stack. So if you guys look, I have a full stack so of Memento back thousand damage yeah two hundred and six thousand damage right so two hundred six thousand so kinetic momento kinetic and momentum, the full stack momento backpack. backpack a full 30 stack which gives you skill efficiency so that skill damage skill haste now aspects, all same days. thing test now, subject you you'll quick, see all the stacks at the bottom on this. This, this is, is glass, glass cannon. cannon same build a 30 stack you can still see we have a 30 stack so the base damage is already lower we already know without anything going and then now we're gonna stack it with um if we were using the test subject. We're just using perfectly in sync. And there you go. So about what eight thousand difference. So if you are going to use the exotic backpack, so right there, we talk about if you're gonna use the exotic backpack and you use kinetic momento, it's eight thousand difference. So in two videos, so one was six hours after, and then one was twenty four hours after. So the first one. I cleared up and I said glass cannon hits harder, especially with all of these talents and all of these buffs. And then I said, but if you're going to use the Memento backpack, well, here you go. You're actually hitting harder, even running the test subject with full buffs. And before, like I said, you could actually stack the Memento backpack, which I have a full stack. So you can't do it anymore. You, can't, you used to be able to build the stack and have a 30 stack in the thing and actually test it out. But that is the, that was it right there. And that, was just what I put out. Three videos, I covered it, but this person, that's not how they see it, right? That That's not how they see it. He says, there are many other videos I have just used Kinetic and Canon as an example. You used a video over a year ago as an example. Well, December, 2020. We're in June of 2022. You, a year and a half ago, obviously we all make mistakes. And it says, countless other videos contain incorrect information. I have exactly 376 emails from people who have watched this person's videos and feel their builds are not working and ask me what's wrong. Come on, 376, this guy's counting emails. I have made many mistakes in my videos in the past and everyone and no one's perfect. We all learn as we go, exactly. I put out a video, I corrected it six hours later. He doesn't say that in the thing. And then I even gave it more in depth test a little bit later. And still, I, I didn't clean up my mess. I did it like he's receiving emails saying, it's cool. And the funny thing is I never mentioned him in any of these videos. I don't even know why he's coming at me or why people are even. Then this is the funny part. My sponsor, who by the way, has been around for years and is a common sponsor that in all games have and most creators push, most creators push, okay. But oh no, this creator posted the word scam, which is a complete lie and now guess what has brainwashed the community again my sponsor helps so many people who don't have the time to farm he didn't say at a low cost of a hundred to three hundred dollars in exotic bro what is this guy talking about then he says soldiers and people who are working on oil wigs for example 
bro, I'm active duty in the military. What are you talking about? And I still wouldn't push this on soldiers. The video made affected many YouTubers from the division who have used this sponsor as well and is very unnecessary. Bro, a lot of people were reaching out to me way ahead before I even made this video, telling me that what is going on with this? Is this legit? Should I use it? Literally, you're pushing something on a TOS. You're saying that you're being affected. Maybe Ubisoft can't push your videos because you're pushing something that is against their terms of service. This gets better. I'm not a full-time YouTuber and have a full-time job. I'm a full-time YouTuber. I have a full-time job. Stay up sometimes two, three in the morning, editing videos to push out content on multiple channels, and I still do it. So, okay. So I also struck to learn the game. Same thing. I sh a lot of times when there's a lot of different changes, I pick up different things and I have to change it. It's understandable. But I don't go out calling people on it. And if the YouTuber fixes the issue, right? Like if the YouTuber, maybe go to say, hey, look, he actually addressed it in this video, right? There's a, uh, different ways he could handle this. If he says, hey, maybe you should check his second video right after that. Or maybe you should check the video after that because he does address it more in depth. And like he, he, he shows that he made a mistake, right? He says, I also would like to apologize to myself for how rude I can be in my comments sometimes. It's just only because of the constant hate from viewers. People probably are hating you because you're promoting something that is so scandalous. Like it's probably not that. Did you have that hate prior to po posting that? Like what? I just don't understand this. Like he's literally trying to blame everybody, but look at himself. Like blaming his view count. And then he says, the BTS is now live and guess who is on top of the views? Bro, I have been, I, I've been posting Division 2 content religiously, daily, before the PTS even came out for the last year on two channels. Maybe I built up a community who follows me and wants to watch my content. Maybe that's the reason why my viewers are still watching my content. Maybe the pe a lot of people quit the game, right? Obviously, maybe the viewers who you had, you didn't continue to build. I, I just don't understand, man. Like, I feel like he's just digging himself in a hole. The first things first is he's pushing something that's against terms of service, TOS, right? It's right there, you guys saw it. The second thing is he literally called out a video that's a year and a half old, which six hours later from that video, I posted when correcting it. And then 24 hours later, I posted something proving that Kinetic does once, obviously with the with the momentum backpack work it does perform better than glass cannon and then i also in the videos i always said hey i like kinetic momentum better because you don't have that incoming damage overall so at the end of the day i do show you in the second video glass cannon is better i'm still by my stance where i think that's a scummy website and hey if you want to keep pushing it and people backlash people message me all the time and say why are people still posting this all he had to do was pull away from that sponsorship and literally tell people that there's not one exotic that is worth paying $300 for. There's not one. There's three raid exotics that are hard to get, right? Because they're behind the raid. You have the Eagle Bear, you have the Ravenous, and you have the Regulus. The Eagle Bear got nerfed to the ground. It's more for show. The Ravenous isn't that good. Barely use it. The Regulus is the one that is, but you can actually substitute that out with the Liberty. And yes, you don't have the explosion, but you can still get that one shot build. Even around all that, he could literally, if he really wanted to help, he could push his 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 viewers to a content creator who is doing raid carries like GC Rock. There are plenty of content creators who do 24 hour raid streams, right? That, that this is their full-time job that don't have another full-time job that are doing raid carries that have communities that do those. So at the end of the day, guys, I didn't want to do this video. I know it's a rant, but hey, it is what it is. And I'm gonna tell you guys, I stand by my case. Don't use that website. It's against TOS. If Ubisoft ever decides to crack down on it, they literally could ban everybody who bought an exotic from that website and you would just lose all your money. So you're pushing a site that breaks TOS. You're blaming everyone else for your, your things. And you're calling out a video that was over a year and a half that I actually corrected six hours later. And you're trying to like spin it different ways. And first off, I never really even called you out specifically. I talked about anybody who promotes that website. So there you go, man. Digging your own grave. Hey, anyway, we're gonna wrap it up here. Appreciate the support, appreciate the love. See you in the next one. Hey, nothing but skills out. Take it easy, everybody.